Hey guys, John Knutson here with Knutson Consulting. I uh, just want to show you a cool little trick that you can do with external hard drives or thumb drives uh, that help you keep files a little more organized. Uh, this trick is called partitioning. And the reason why we would partition a drive is because maybe uh, we want to keep certain files in certain places or on certain drives, but we only have physically one external or one thumb drive and we don't have the option of having one drive for video and one drive for pictures and one drive for something else. Um, instead we've, we've just purchased a large external hard drive and we want to kind of separate uh, the hard drive into sections so that the computer thinks that there's more than one drive. The way we do this is we look for a program on our computer called Disk Utility and the easiest way to do this is just go to Spotlight and type in uh, disk utility. Now the, the shortcut for Spotlight is command spacebar and we just type in disk utility and by the time we're about halfway through uh, the computer is going to find it for us and we just click enter. Disk utility is going to pop up and it's going to show you all of the places that you have uh, connected external hard drives or the hard drive in the computer or even a thumb drive and for today's purposes we're going to use a small 8 gigabyte thumb drive that I have. You want to click on the thumb or on the drive that you want to use and you want to click on the topmost option for that drive. So here we have John's drive and then we have 8.1 gigabyte USB 2.0 so on and so forth. That's the one we want to click on. The one that's at the top of those two options. By clicking on that we're going to get these five options. First aid, erase, partition, raid, and restore. We want to click on partition and it's going to show us the current partition layout which is uh, no partitions, it's just one big drive. We want to select, uh, click on current and it's going to give you all these options to make as many partitions as your heart desires and uh, today we want to have two partitions which basically means we're going to have two sections on the hard drive, okay? Both of these right now are the same size, they're 4.05 gigabytes each. But say I know that uh, I'm going to be using this thumb drive for videos and documents and I want one section to be bigger so that I can put more videos on that section and one section to be smaller because I know the documents aren't going to take up uh, that much space. Well we can uh, click on the size, click on the, the one of the sections and click on the size and say we want to make this 6.5 gigabytes. We just type that in, hit enter and it's going to adjust the other partition. Uh, so that uh, it reflects the remainder of the drive and in this case it's 1.6. You can also physically move the parameters if you so are inclined and uh, you can change it to whatever you want and in this case you know 3 gigabytes on partition 2 and that leaves 5.10 on partition 1. You can also name each partition so this will of course be John's videos because it's the larger of the two and this will be John's documents. Oops. When we're all set with this, uh, we're going to hit apply and it's going to ask you to be sure that you want to do this because when you do it, it will erase everything that is on that drive and uh, if you don't back up whatever's there, you're going to lose it. It will never be recoverable. This is what we call a reformat. What the computer is essentially going to do is erase everything on the drive set it up how we've instructed it to and then return it to you completely empty um, but with however many partitions that you want. When you're sure of yourself and you've backed up the drive we click partition and the computer uh, begins to work. It's going to unmount the disk which means it's going to take permissions away from the user. It's going to set up the drive and reformat and then it's going to give it back to the user's control uh, once it's mounted it back on the desktop. Now why? might we want to do this? Well, a great example is the hard drives that are currently sitting on my desktop right now. Seagate Black is just one external hard drive. It's just, uh, it's a bunch of videos and it's a bunch of documents. Um, you know, it's just a big, a big, you know, jumble of stuff. But Seagate Silver is technically Seagate Silver and Time Machine. Both of these drives are two individual drives on the computer but one physical drive sitting on my desktop in my office. The reason why is because I've partitioned one 
and called it Time Machine, and partitioned the other and called that Seagate Silver. Time Machine is the backup system that Apple uh, uses as a all-time um, you know, backup service for all your files and any changes that you make over time. The Seagate Silver is just an external hard drive, at least the computer thinks so. And so on one side, I have 752 gigabytes, about, of space for Time Machine. And on the other side of the partition, I have about 250 gigabytes of space uh, that I can use to save any files that I want to over a USB cord. Uh, physically, like I said, these two drives are just, is just one sitting on my desktop, but it's two uh, in uh, the computer's uh, understanding. So once uh, you give it a few minutes, Disk Utility is going to finish, and as you see on my desktop, uh, we have John's videos on the drive, and that's 5.1 gigs, and John's documents, which is 2.5 gigs, and each of these the computer believes to be its own individual drive. It's as if I've plugged in two USB drives to my computer. The computer thinks that this is an individual drive, just like John's videos. This is really helpful when we're trying to separate files or perhaps you want to set up a time machine on an external and you don't want to use the whole uh, you know terabyte or you don't want to use the enormous drive that you have but you want to you know delegate a little bit of space so that you can have a time machine but also uh, backup files on an external hard drive. I really hope this has been helpful and uh, we'll catch you again soon. Thanks a lot.